Hi everyone, my name is Mansoor Muskan of 6M A section and here we will be seeing my open and lab program of computer networks. This video will be about sending and receiving live audio streaming using sockets. Streaming is a method used to deliver content to computers and mobile devices over the internet without having to download it. Let us see what are sockets. A socket is one endpoint of a two-way communication link between two programs running on the same network. This program has two files, one is for server and one is for client. Here I am using VS code in order to run my program. Let us see the server side code in detail. Uh, this uh, file contains some of the modules like uh, socket, pickle, struct, pyshine, socket. Socket provide various object, constant, function for building network application. Uh, pickle, it is used for converting a python object into a byte stream to transport data over the network. Struct, it is used for packing and unpacking of data. PyShine, it consists of various audio and video files. Now I am creating a variable called mode and setting it to the send so that it can be passed in audio capture function. Uh, now let us create a socket. Uh, it determines the format of address to be used for socket and AFINET that stands for address from internet. It can be IPv4 address or IPv6 address. Then uh, SOC stream. Uh, it determines that the socket we are creating is in transmission control protocol is a transmission control protocol socket now uh, let us see the host IP uh, here we have to specify the IP address of the host for this now open the terminal and type IP config And from here copy the IPv4 address and paste it here. Now let us see port. Here we can specify a port for transmission the data. Backlog. This specify the number of opening connections the queue will hold. This can be used in later in the binding binder. Now this is the simple print statement. Now let us see the next line binder. This line binds uh, this line binds the socket to the IP address and the port provided. Now let us see the listen method. This method listens for any incoming connection request. Now let us see the while loop. This is an infinite loop for continuous program execution. This uh, this method uh, this the accept method accept an incoming connection and returns the IP and the port of the incoming connections. Now this is the another print statement. Then uh, let us see the if statement. This is the if client socket. Uh, this will check if the socket is created on the uh, receiving or the client side. Here we are uh, here we are taking an uh, taking an audio object. This statement is used to converting an ob audio object uh, into a byte stream for transmission. Uh, this will be send the entire data to the client socket. Else, uh, if a socket is not created on the receiving or the client side, then break out the loop. Then this statement will break the loop and close the connection. Now let us see the client side code in detail. Uh, It also has the same modules and uh, here is the uh, here the code is same like uh, server side. Now let us see from the creating creating a cl client socket. Here I am creating the client socket and uh, I am also providing the IP address. Then port.
this connect method is used by client application to establish a connection to a server and here we are passing the ip and the port to the client now this next is the simple print statement uh, then data equal to b this specify an empty byte string and uh, here b is using to convert uh, any data into the bytes here this function calculate the size of the string representation of structure then now let us see the while loop this is an infinite loop now let us checking if the length of the data is less than the payload this statement says if it checking it check saying if check saying uh, if there is no content in the packet then break out of the loop if content is found in the packet then apply it to the data variable taking the size of the packed message from the data then uh, this uh, struct dot unpack is used for unpacking the packed value into the original representation running while loop until we get all the data this statement appends all the received data this statement read the byte streams here we are taking an audio object now uh, then the last statement is client socket closer if we break out of the loop then we will close the socket now let us see the output first we need to start the server so that we can listen to the incoming request now let us start the server server has started now let us start the client as you can see we can start successfully to the server and now we can transfer the live audio the graph detects the sound as you have seen the graph detects the sound and displays the change in sound frequency the server is sending the audio and the client is receiving